Hello friends, today we will see how we can run macOS operating system in our Windows machine. In order to run macOS operating system in our Windows machine, we need to install the VMware Workstation Player. VMware Workstation Player is a hypervisor that allows us to run multiple operating system in our base operating system. Now open your browser and you need to go to this link. It will be provided in the video description. Click on the download button. Now you can see the VMware Workstation Player. Click on go to downloads. Now scroll down and you will see the download option for Windows 64-bit operating system. Now click on download now button and this will start downloading the VMware Workstation Player. Next go to the location where your VMware installer is downloaded and double click on it. Click on next button. Now accept the license agreement, click on next. Make sure you select both these options and then click on the next button. Now again click on the next button. Now click on the next button. Now click on the install button. Now click on finish. Now it is asking that we must restart our computer in order to install VMware player. So close all the applications and click on yes. This will restart your computer. Now we have restarted our computer. Next we need to execute this unlocker.exe. Now the link to download this file you can find in the video description. VMware by default it does not support the installation of macOS operating system. In order to install macOS operating system in VMware, we need to execute this unlocker.exe. Before executing this unlocker.exe, make sure you have closed your VMware otherwise it will not work. So go ahead and close the VMware. Now double click on this unlocker. and click on the patch button. This will start downloading the tools for VMware. This will take some time so be patient. Now click on OK button. Now the patch is complete. Now you can close this unlocker. Next you need to download this macOS ISO file. The link will be provided in video description where you can download it. The file size of this ISO is around 16 GB. So this is pretty big file. So you need a stable internet connection in order to download this file. Go ahead and download this file. Now launch the VMware workstation player. Let me maximize it. Now click on the create a new virtual machine button. From here select installer disk image ISO and click on the browse button. From here select the macOS ISO that you have downloaded earlier. Click on the open button. Now click on the next button. From here select Apple Mac OS X and keep the version as it is. Now these options are visible because earlier we have executed the unlocker. Now I will keep the virtual machine name as it is and click on the next button. Next we have to allocate hard disk to this virtual machine. Now it is recommended you allocate at least 60 GB of your hard disk. I will be allocating this virtual machine 65 GB of my hard disk. Now select this option split virtual disk and click on the next button. Now click on the finish button. This will create this Mac OS virtual machine. Next we need to do some configurations so click on this edit virtual machine settings. Now here we have to allocate RAM to the virtual machine. It is recommended that you allocate at least 8 GB of your RAM. I will be allocating this virtual machine around 10 GB of my RAM. Next select the processors. Now it is recommended that you allocate at least 4 processor cores. I will be allocating 8 processor cores and click on the OK button. 
Next click on this play virtual machine or you can also click on this power on button. Click on the play virtual machine button. Now click on ok button. Next you have to select your language. I will keep it English and click on this button. Now from here select the disk utility and click on continue. Now we have to allocate hard disk to this virtual machine. From here select VMware virtual SATA hard disk. Click on it and now click on the erase button. Now we have to provide a name to this hard drive. I will call it macOS disk and click on the erase button. Now click on the done button. Now you can close this window. Next go to install macOS Big Surf and click on continue. Again click on continue. Now accept the terms and condition. Now select the macOS disk and click on continue. Now select your country, click on continue. Click on continue again. Select not now and click on continue. Now click on not now. Select setup later and click on this skip button. Now agree to terms and condition. Click on this agree button. Next you have to create a user for this account. Now first provide a username then provide a account name. Next provide a password for this account and again verify the same password. Now click on the continue button. Again click on continue. And again click on continue. Now select setup later. And I will disable Siri. Now you can enable it later and click on continue button. Now you have to choose your theme. I will keep it light and click on continue. If you wish, you can select the dark theme also. Next you will see this disk icon, right click on it and select eject. Now we have successfully installed macOS in the VMware. Now if you found this video useful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.